What's up, YouTube family? We are back with another video. I'm so excited to bring you guys another retouching video, and I'm doing something just a little bit crazy this time. But before we get started, you know that I have my free editing class that I want you to go download so you become a better editor. But I also, I also have my Jet Retouching Starter Pack. These are the exact actions I use to edit my images better faster and get results that my clients love so make sure you go download that we don't have to keep talking about it but today i'm going to show you i took this photo and i need to remove my client's friend's hand out of this photo right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just clone stamp tool this out so what you can do is come to clone stamp tool i'm gonna keep the flow and opacity at 100 let's see how we work and before i do that what I want to do is I want to select her hand. So we're just going to select the hand. I'm using the quick selection tool, and I just want to make my radius just a little bigger so we can get more pixels, as y'all see like it's doing now. Boom. So the first thing I'm doing is selecting what needs to be selected. Yeah, and come in here. You see, it got a little part right there. Uh, we get this little part right here. Cool. Now, what I'm going to do is that now that this is selected, I only want to paint over what's in here, clone over what's here. So I'm using my clone brush. I had to kind of make a barrier for myself. Use my clone brush, sample from each area, just paint inside. And as you see, since I use the uh, barrier the quick selection tool to create this radius around I don't have to worry about um, accidentally going on the rows right so that's all I'm doing now just taking it sampling holding alternate sampling from different areas holding alternate sampling from different areas remember the plus is how far away that you're sampling from and also what you're using to replace so like if I want to replace a rose, I would sample here and drag all over here, and it will put a rose there. But I just want to sample from this area, so what I'm doing is just sampling and dragging. And as y'all see, I forgot to take her arm out. So I need to add, so I'm going to go to my quick selection tool, hit the plus button, and I'm just going to add her arm into there so that we don't have any issues. As you see, it added way too much. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. Go back to my clone stamp tool. Sample from this area. I'm going to make my brush just a little bigger. And we're just going to keep painting over. You can kind of start, like, pulling from different areas. Like, I can start pulling from over here. I'm going to make it easier. Yeah. Pulling from over here. We don't really want to sample the same thing. As you see, like, when I overlap stuff, um, it makes it look very different. So I'm just going to continue to sample from both sides so that everything is okay. Let's command Z because I messed up right there. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom, just getting this. I'll make my brush a little smaller so I can come in here. Uh, well, what I've noticed is that since I got this border, I can't come in here yet. So this is good. So we're going to go ahead and hit Command D to deselect. And as you see, I got these lines, but don't worry about that. We're going to come straight to it. I'm just come going to come here and knock out these right here. Boom, come in. Knock out these little lines using my clone stamp tool. Just sampling and knocking these lines out. As you see, I'm riding along, get riding along. Let's come on the other side because I was going to hit the flower, ride along. Now I come right in here, ride along in there, and we can come in here, ride along in there. I'm going to take my patch tool, and I'm just going to 
just make this look a little bit more realistic. This is a little bit more realistic. So come around these areas that may look too um, different. And taking my patch tool and circling around. And as you see, her hand is gone. Now, we do have a problem, the rows. So with the rows, what we're going to do is we are going to take our quick selection tool again, hit the plus button. Come on, I just want to get a little bit of the stem. I don't have to get all because I'm about to do what is called a fake out um, where I put the image behind it. Like I put what I want to act like it's there behind it. So I hit command C, command V, I'm gonna hit command T. And I am just going to spin this, spin this around to make it look like it's connecting. Just like that, overlap this so that it makes sense. I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm going to erase everything that does not make sense. So I'm coming to my eraser. And of course, this wouldn't be on her body. That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to come and I am going to erase. Wrong tool. Erase that. <clears throat> then boom, merge these two layers together. I'm going to merge this one down again. Boom. Merge this one down. Then I'm going to blend this line in. So we want to blend this line in. So I'm going to come and I'm going to use my patch tool. And I'm just going to circle and blend as best as I can. Just like that. Boom. Now when you zoom out, you would think it's a rose there. Beautiful. This image is beautiful. Beautiful. So let's look at our before and after. Before, after, before, after, before, after. And I think what I want to do is... I'm going to just blur this out a little. Let's throw a Gaussian blur. Let's select. We're going to select the piece that we added. And we're going to go to filter, blur. Let's do a lens blur, actually. Let's do a lens blur. And we're just going to drag into it like kind of looks blurry, like the lens did it. So that's what we're working on now because everything in the background also looks blurry. So why wouldn't we do the same thing for this? So I think this is kind of pushing it right here. Let's see. Yep, that's kind of pushing. That makes it look too fake. So let's bring it back down to maybe about 10, 9. I can work with that. I can work with that. And then what I'm going to do, because I don't like how sharp these edges is, I am going to take my clone stamp tool, and I'm just going to put some softness to these edges, man. Let's just put some softness to them. Let's soften them up a little bit. And basically for me to soften them up, I'm just taking my clone stamp tool and just going around them. Blend it in with the background and make it look like the edges are softened up a little more. As you see, like I'm doing here. Boom. So now, <laughs> now it look more real. And we good, y'all. That was super fire. Don't forget to download them free editing trainers, man. Listen. 
I cannot stress this enough. If you have not downloaded them, that is very important that you do because I want you to become a better editor. Do not forget. Also, we have the certified retoucher editing boot camp coming up. It's a three day challenge, five days. If you do IV, if you do VIP, I cannot wait to see you there. Let's make it happen. Coach Jet is out.